Hello friends, welcome to the channel solution. This video is all about handling of pH meter. In the first part, we will demonstrate you about the parts of pH meter. This is pH electrode which is dipped into the distal water. This is pH meter. This is a function knob which has three mode, pH mode, standby mode and MV mode. If you want to measure the pH, then rotate the knob to the pH mode. Between the measurement, set the knob to the standby mode. And if you want to measure the MV, then rotate the knob to the MV mode. We have to select the mode as per the measurement, right side is the MV mode and left side is the pH mode. Then rotate the knob back to the standby mode. Always return the knob to the standby mode between the measurement. This is the temperature setting knob by which we set the temperature by rotating the knob. This knob is used for the calibration of the pH meter. We rotate and adjust this knob to set the pH to the standard pH value. This is the display for reading and this is the slope knob which is also used for the calibration purpose. Now the working procedure of the pH meter. Before measuring the pH of the test sample, first we have to calibrate the pH meter for accurate measurement of the pH of the sample. For the calibration of pH meter, standard buffer solution of pH 4 and pH 7 is required. This is the standard buffer tablet of pH 4 from which we have to prepare the standard buffer solution of pH 4. For this, dissolve one tablet of the pH 4 in 100 ml of the distilled water as per the instruction given in the container. This is the prepared standard buffer solution of pH 4. In the same way we have to prepare standard buffer solution of pH 7 by dissolving one tablet of pH 7 in 100 ml of distilled water. Now we are going to perform calibration process of pH meter. For this first set the temperature setting knob to 25 degrees Celsius or the temperature of buffer solution by rotating the knob and dip the electrode into pH 7 buffer solution and set the knob to pH mode and wait until the display shows the constant reading. This will take time so keep patience till the reading become constant. Here you can see that the display reading become constant to pH 5.41. Now we have to set the pH to 7 value and which is the pH of our buffer solution. For this rotate and adjust the calibration knob till the display shows pH 7 value which is the pH of our buffer solution. Remember that always start the calibration with pH 7 standard buffer solution and then with the pH 4 buffer solution because at pH value 7 value the electrode is at 0 point and therefore 0 point calibration is always be performed first. Here the meter display reading is set to pH 7 value. Now rotate the function key knob to standby position. Now remove the electrode from the buffer solution by uplifting the electrode. After uplifting the electrode Remove the beaker containing pH 4 buffer solution and then keep empty beaker below the electrode. After keeping empty beaker below the electrode, rinse the electrode with distilled water. You can also use deionized water for rinsing the electrode. After proper rinsing the electrode with distilled water, then dry the electrode with tissue paper gently. Do not rub the electrode with the tissue paper, otherwise it will damage the pH electrode and then dip the electrode in another buffer solution of pH 4 and then rotate the function knob to pH mode and wait until the display show the constant reading. At this time rotate the slope knob until the pH meter display reading pH 4 which is the pH of our buffer solution. Here the display become constant to pH 4. Now our pH meter is calibrated. Again rotate the knob to standby mode. Remove the pH electrode from the buffer solution. Rinse it with the distilled water and then gently dry it with the tissue paper as we have done earlier. To confirm that our pH meter is calibrated, for this again dip the electrode to the same standard buffer solution of pH 7 and measure the pH without doing any adjustment. Rotate the function knob to pH mode and wait till the meter display reading becomes constant. This will take time so we have made this section of video 4x fast forward mode. Now the display reading becomes constant to pH 7 which confirms that our pH meter is calibrated. Rotate the knob to the standby mode. Now remove the electrode from the standard buffer solution and then rinse the electrode with the distilled water and then dry it with the tissue paper as we have done earlier. Now dip the electrode into the sample of which we have to measure the pH. After dipping the electrode into the sample, now set the function knob to pH mode. 
After setting the function knob to pH mode, allow the display to stabilize before taking the reading. This will again take time, so wait until the display reading becomes constant. Remember that once the instrument is calibrated, do not disturb the calibration and slope knob will taking measurement of the pH of the sample. Remember that after every use of pH electrode, rinse it with the distilled water and place it back with the storage solution that is KCL. Here the reading becomes constant to 11.50. It means the pH of our sample solution is 11.5. Thank you for watching this video.